ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this the new speed presented to you by Lady Slyke and Zion Shiva. Follow, follow the beat, follow the beat from the studio to the street. Info with the flow keeps you sharp and in the know. Sit back, relax, enjoy the news. Follow. This month was International Girl Child Day. I remember when I was a girl back in the day. Hip hop was in my head from such a tender age. And it wasn't long before I hit the stage. Stop thought rapping was a hobby. I wouldn't stop. But I knew that hip hop would take me to the top. Still, it was a tough battle on my way up. I could see others who were all the way up. And male rappers even told me to give up. No one thought a woman could be a self made rapper. But here I am. I'm a rapper, songwriter, and a designer. Not to mention a lucky mother. pictures in this book. Why are men doctors and women just cooks? Why are the boys strong and athletic? And the girls are all about dolls and fabrics. Well, that's how people thought back then. They had stereotypes about women and men. It's called gender bias and it's everywhere. The idea that only men can have careers, like being business owners or policemen, and women only take care of the children. The problem is that when you are in school, these books are used as learning tools. And young boys and girls see these pictures and think this will be their future. But women are scientists, women play sports, women are lawyers and judges in courts. Yes, women can do anything. So why are the books not changing? They've changed in Sweden, Argentina, and even in Jordan, Pakistan and Costa Rica. Not yet in Uganda, where we get old books from the UK and America. That means boys and girls are miseducated because they read books that are outdated. Will this be different in the future? Maybe if we change the text and the pictures and teach the youth to ask the right questions, to challenge the stereotypes in their education. When it comes to racing bikes and cars, most people think only boys will go far. But Uganda has outstanding female riders in motocross and as rally car drivers. Ages ain't a bother for the youngest rider. Isabella Bleak, a champion motocross racer. She started when she was just five and showed that she had the drive. Despite the danger of this fierce event, Bleak rarely gets into accidents. Her high performance is consistent. She might soon be the best on the continent. Amina Zawade is another rider to watch. With her, the boys may have made their match. Early this year, boys and girls first off. In every class, the competition was tough. From the Pee Wee class with Dread Letitia for the 50cc with Blake and Kautara Belinda. In her class, Blake was the defending champion, changing how female riders are seen in this nation. On the other side of the track, three women are on the attack. Susan Muwonge and Leila Mayanja, plus the flying chick, Rose Wakataka. These women are all rally drivers, as much as they are wives or mothers. Yeah. Every year that passes, they just get better And every year there are more female riders These girls and women can inspire any racer They are proof that it's not about gender If we put our minds to it, girls, we can do it I'm MC Loy, reporting for News Bit Look mom, I got good grades for mathematics and sciences. I got all A's. I even beat all the boys in class. They couldn't believe how good at science I was. Well Shiba, it's you to believe in yourself. And lots of girls are terrific in science and mathematics. But when they have to choose their careers, they don't think of themselves as tech specialists or engineers. That's why the technology sector, which is in East Africa, is becoming stronger. Though seen by women as a no-go zone, but a difficult career for strong men alone. Now luckily, this organization Geek Girl Kampala wants to give girls more tech power. Since 2012, they teach tech savvy women to believe in themselves. Every Saturday, they train girls for free on coding, computer programming languages, and see, now they have trained over 150. Christine Ampire, the founder, is only 23. She has a software engineering degree and develops apps that win awards for tech girls in Africa. She's reshuffling the cards. The main thing that girls need, she believes, is encouragement to study science, math, or engineering. You have to be self confident. The trend is picking up all over the continent. There's even a Miss Geek competition where girls have to compete and find a technology solution to an African challenging situation. You see Shiba, a girl can become anything as long as she finds something interesting. And if she doesn't feel like she fits in, she has to relax. Nothing is easy at the beginning. I got it now mom and I believe it is true. I can be a software engineer and also a great rapper like you. Yeah, from the time I 
got into hip hop in the late 90s, I've managed to make a mark on the industry with a hit song Smart Africa, Abachala, Nkabongere, and Blue Yuga headlining with Viva Konagwa. I gained respect of my fellow rappers. They even call me the queen of hip hop in Uganda. How did you do it? You never tried to quit? No, I had to focus and work harder at it. I had to try even harder than the men, but I hope this inspires other women. Mom, what can I do to reach my ambition? Well, you need a dose of determination, but mostly, you need to believe that you can. We know anything can be done by women, whether technology, sports, music, or even politics. So even I can do it? Yes, you can do it! That was the news on the beat. Next week will be another hit. Still ladies like and Zion Shiba, reporting life and direct with love and respect. Follow the beat, follow the beat, follow the beat, follow the beat. Follow the beat! Follow the beat, follow the beat, follow the beat, follow the beat. Follow the beat! Follow the beat.